Hello everybody, my name is Kate. Welcome to Andrew back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be talking about uh, my, I don't want to say struggle, my dealings with OI and um, my story I guess. Um, today is the last day of OI Awareness Week. Uh, I meant to post this the first day uh, but it was the first day we had internet and I've just been so distracted and procrastinating and now we're here on the last day. Um, so my name is Kate and I'm 21 years old. Um, if you are new to my channel, you should subscribe because it's okay content sometimes. <laughs> okay, so my story starts when I was two and a half years old. Um, me and my brother were outside watching for a school bus. We were at my cousin's place and they lived in a, like, apartment and the apartment had like a nice few steps leading up to their front door so my parents were inside I think getting ready to leave or something and me and my brother were outside and we were jumping up and down the steps waiting like we were watching we were watching the school bus go up the road so we were watching that and I ended up tripping and mom said to this day she feels sick because she can hear the blood cur the blood curdling scream I gave out um, should any time I ever hurt myself, it was always just one big scream. And then, like, she said to this day, it still chills her to the bone when she, like, thinks about it. So, I had hurt my leg and my parents were just like, okay, we need to take her to the hospital. Um, the, the merge here won't do anything, so we'll just go. I think my mom actually called and they were like, just take her straight to the hospital. So, uh, on the way to the hospital, I fell asleep in my mom's arms and that kind of worried her and against everybody's wishes, she called her friend in, I think it was Grand Falls at the time, she called her friend in Grand Falls and was just like, can you go buy Katie a dumb tit? She fell down on her leg and now I feel really, really bad because I had just given up my dumb tit. Uh, and everybody was like, Tina, no, don't do that. And she was like, I need to. <laughs> so I got my dumb tit back and I was, I'm sure, very pleased with that. We went to the doctor's. And the doctor uh, was like, okay, well, we'll go get our x-rays. So we went down and I got x-rays done. And mom went over to the x-ray technician. And she said to him, she was like, so is it broken? And he was like, uh, I'm not allowed to say, but yes. And she was like, is it just one break? And he was like, again, I'm not allowed to say, but no, there's two. So we went back up to the, hospital, the doctor's like office or whatever. And the doctor came in and like it checked me over and I had broken my leg in two places just like this right where I hit across the step so it was broke here and then down a little bit right where it came across the step so the doctor um had luckily worked in Africa a lot and there are a lot of children over there with this apparently or at least at the time he was there and he looked me over I had a bloated round stomach I had the whites of my eyes were and continue to be very very blue as you can tell um like they look black down there now because they're so blue and he was just like have you does she have osteogenesis imperfecta and my parents were like does she have what <laughs> and he was like does she have OI and they were like I don't know and he was like I think you should get her checked because I've worked with a lot of people with OI and she has all the characteristics and everything would just kind of line up so anyways that was good enough we basically got diagnosed there and then with OI and the next thing was what are we gonna do so my mom went to KFC this day and she seen it was her there was this man and then in front of this man there was a uh, one of her friends and her friend was like, oh, I heard Katie broke her leg or whatever. And mom was like, yeah, well, the doctor said she has OI. And, you know, now I don't really know what to do. And they were talking about it. And the guy in the middle turns around to my mom. And he's just like, I'm sorry to interrupt. I don't mean to be, like, eavesdropping or whatever. But he was like, I work with the Shriners in Labrador. And Montreal Shriners Hospital uh, is the best place for you to take her. Because they have a big deal with OI. They're the best and only place anywhere near us that would look after somebody with OI and that knows how to treat it. I think they were at the time, at the time, the only hospital, uh, to know what to do around here. They were still far away. I mean, we live in Newfoundland. Newfoundland is like, this is Newfoundland on the map and then this is Montreal. So, um, we had to fly there. So, and in August we went to Montreal for the first time. 
So we went there, I got the genetic testing done and I got, you know, all the tests, literally every freaking one of them. Um, and then after I got the test done, I went back in February to get my first treatment and I was petrified because I was told that the IV goes in here, which it doesn't. And I was told a few things that kind of made me freak out and I was so scared because I had to have the IV in my arm for three consecutive days. I was getting a radio treatment first and that is a three day treatment where you keep the IV in the whole three days and you go home to the hotel during the night and you come back the next morning. And uh, yeah, but Charter's Hospital was amazing. Uh, I can't say enough nice things about them. Uh, I just had one problem with one of the IV nurses. I just didn't like her because she didn't like anybody. She was so cranky and whenever she'd come to give you a needle, she wouldn't talk to you. And maybe it was because she couldn't speak English. But I think she could because I heard her talking to the nurses. But she just was so cranky and I didn't like her at all. Um, I loved the playroom. There are these two people in the playroom. And they used, I, one of them used to come up and be in the room with me when I get my IV because I used to be so afraid but uh he was like my favorite person ever <laughs> and it was it was fun uh when he'd be there but I'd still be upset and freak out so once everybody in Comfort Cove knew which is the town I grew up in which is a really small town so once everybody there knew um it was just a lot of people you know sending get well wishes and get well cards and fruit baskets and everything and then but there was a problem that we had with one of the people from Comfort Cove uh, whose kid decided to call me a dinosaur because I have brittle bones. And my brother was not too pleased about that. Um, so I can only imagine what people who have more severe OI go through. Um, that was the only time I was ever really made fun of OI until I got a little bit older and then somebody decided to tell me that my OI is an excuse. Uh... <laughs> And that it's actually just me being lazy, which is funny. But yeah, so I haven't had a whole lot of hate against me with Hawaii. But I have experienced a couple things. And I just, I don't know. I have brittle bones. I can't help it. <laughs> so after I got my first treatment in February, uh, I used to go back every six months, I think, for treatment. And then it went to every year. But after I was getting the treatment for about six to seven years, they were like, uh-oh, you're not supposed to get this treatment for longer than, I think, five years. And they were just like, so we're going to try you on a new treatment. So then I got a new treatment. I do not remember the name of it. Nobody in my family does. So I don't know. Anyways, I started a new treatment. And I hated this treatment with a passion. It was in, it was a trial run for a, bone, a form of bone cancer. So they were like, we'll try it on you. And I was like, whatever. I don't have a say. So they tried it on me. I think I only got one dose of that treatment, maybe two, and I would not go back and get any more treatment. I hasn't, and I haven't been back to Montreal since. Uh, that treatment made me really, really sick. It used to make me pass out. Uh, I fainted once, and I took and blacked out once, and I used to get up in the middle of the night and talk or walk, which I never did. I used to get up in the middle of the night not being able to breathe. Um, and not remember it the next day uh if I'd go running I'd start coughing and like throw up just because I had to like because I was just running a short distance like from the length of the playground so yeah my experience with OI is pretty tame compared to what some people go through and I feel bad talking about OI the way I do because I have it so much easier than a lot of people a lot of people with OI are very, very short statured, which I, I'm shorter, but I'm not like, you know, and a lot of them uh, have deformities and I don't really, I don't have visible deformities. Uh, so yeah, with me, I have one leg is a little bit shorter than the other. I have slight curvature of the spine. Um, I am probably going to have heart issues. I shouldn't, I'm not really supposed to drink energy drinks or caffeine, even though I live off energy drinks and caffeine. I'm not so bad with energy drinks because they're freaking expensive. But I do love coffee. Um, I probably shouldn't. But anyways. And um, I don't really know what else to say on my topic. Because I just, I've lived with it my whole life. So I don't find it very interesting. But I know some people do. Uh, if you know somebody who has why, Or if you have a why and you want to, like, you know, show somebody this video. Uh, do it please. And, uh, you know, it might be interesting to hear somebody else's side of the story. Um... I know I like hearing other people's sides of the story, but I can't find many YouTubers with a OI because it's a somewhat, it's not really rare disease. It's just not talked about and I don't appreciate that. <laughs>
but yeah. Um, the, like, I don't really, like, know, like, OI is never talked about it. It's in one movie, as far as I know, and that's, uh, Unbreakable, which is one of my favorite movies. I love it, so go watch that. It's the first movie to Split in Glass, so <laughs> I went and watched Split, and then I found out there was a first movie, and then I found out he had a lie, and I freaked out, and my mom was like, I know. <laughs> so anyways, um, I really don't know what else to say. Check out my previous OI video. It's right here if you want to check it out. The link will be in the top of the description below. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If I've left anything out, I'm sorry. I know I probably have. This has been a really choppy video because I can't remember most of it and I've lost all my notes on the topic. <laughs> so yeah, happy OI Awareness Week. And I will do better next year because I didn't realize it was coming up this soon and I would have done more videos. And if you guys want to hear my wish trip story, let me know and I will do a video on that. And yeah, I guess that's it for me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.